。话说美国 NASA 最近又开始整活了啊，因为这次呢，他打算把你的名字送到太阳系当中，除了地球最可能有生命存在的木卫二啊，也就是欧罗巴上面。现在呢，你只需要将你的名字填入到 NASA 网站的这个漂流瓶里面，随后呢，你就能够收到一份邮件，说明报名成功了。而你的名字呢，也将会在2024年伴随着欧罗巴快船任务航行几亿公里前往木星轨道去研究木卫二，这个太阳系内除了地球最可能有生命存在的海洋星球之一。如果你也想让你的名字伴随着这个漂流瓶飘到木卫二上面的话呢，可以留言评论告诉我你的姓名和邮箱啊，我帮你报过名之后呢。你就会收到一封来自 NASA 欧罗巴快船团队的邮件，记得查收啊。但是吧，不知道美国人是不是啊，也学会了诗和远方的那一套啊。伴随你名字一起前往木卫二的，还有一首诗啊，叫做《赞美神秘献给木卫二的诗》，听起来呢是这个样子的啊。In praise of mystery, a poem for Europa, arching under the night sky. Inky with black expansiveness, we point to the planets we know. We pin quick wishes on stars. From Earth, we read the sky as if it is an unerring book of the universe, expert and evident. Still, there are mysteries below our sky. The whale song. The songbird singing its call in the bough of a wind-shaken tree. We are creatures of constant awe, curious at beauty, at leaf and blossom, at grief and pleasure, sun and shadow. And it is not darkness that unites us, not the cold distance of space, but the offering of water. Each. Drop of rain, each rivulet, each pulse, each vein. Oh, second moon, we too are made of water, of vast and beckoning seas. We too are made of wonders, of great and ordinary loves, of small invisible worlds, of a need to call out through the dark. 你别看 NASA 这回整活整得挺诗和远方的啊，可是你知道为什么 NASA 要去探寻木卫二吗？而且啊，还有两个星球，就是除了地球啊，可能是太阳系当中最可能有生命存在的两个星球，你知道是哪两个吗？欢迎留言评论告诉我。